Hello and welcome to this video. Today we learn about what is the nerve supply of the parotid gland. This is a very favorite question both in theory and in practicals as spotters. Uh, so first I'll tell you what you should not write when nerve supply is the parotid gland is asked. You know that within the parotid gland you have the facial nerve dividing into its branches. So there is a tendency for many students to think that facial nerve is per, uh, supplying the parotid gland. It is quite uh, the opposite. Facial nerve is going through the parotid. So any uh, parotid surgeries, facial nerve is at risk, but it is not supplying the parotid gland. Okay, so that is very, very important. You should not write facial nerve as the innervation of the parotid gland. Uh, so what is the secretomotor innervation of the parotid gland? Let us look at a diagram. Suppose this is the brainstem and this is the midbrain and this is the pons and this is the medulla. In the medulla, you have the inferior salivatory nucleus that is shown in this black ink. From there, you have the glossopharyngeal nerve emerging out. Okay, that is the cranial nerve number nine. Glossopharyngeal nerve gives off a branch. That branch is called the tympanic branch. The tympanic branch enters into the uh, the temporal bone. Okay, this is actually outside the skull, but from there it goes back into the skull by entering into the temporal bone through a small foramen, uh, which I'll come to that later. Uh, from there it enters into the middle ear and there it forms the tympanic plexus. And from the tympanic plexus it continues as the lesser petrosal nerve, which comes out through another foramen for the lesser petrosal nerve. And then it goes down through the foramen ovale and comes out and synapses with the relay station. Okay, that is the aortic ganglion. So this is called the aortic ganglion, which is the ganglion of the parotid gland. Uh, from the aortic ganglion, you have another neuron. Till now, you had a single neuron. From there, you have another neuron. That neuron uh, will give off its branches and that will be distributing through the auricular temporal nerve, which will be innervating the parotid. Okay, so this is, as you can see, there are two neurons. This is called the pre-ganglionic neuron and this is called the post-ganglionic neuron. I have used two colors. The first pre-ganglionic neuron is black in color and the post-ganglionic neuron is blue in color. So let me uh, review this by listing out the structures in series, which is the one that you have to remember. Okay, so first... Uh, when the secretomotor pathway is asked, you have to remember that first uh, you have the preganglionic neuron located, the cell body is located within the medulla and that is called the inferior salivatory nucleus. Okay, From there you have the glossopharyngeal nerve, that is cranial nerve number 9. From the glossopharyngeal nerve, it, it gives off a branch called the tympanic branch and the tympanic branch is also called as the Jacobson's nerve. Now that enters into a small foramen called tympanic canaliculus. Okay? That is through which it enters into the middle ear. All right? And there it forms the tympanic plexus, which is also called as the Jacobson's plexus. Okay, So from, from the tympanic plexus, it uh, kinds of all this plexus branches will reunite to form what is called as the lesser petrosal nerve. Lesser petrosal nerve emerges out uh, in the cranial fossa okay uh, uh, as uh, through the foramen of the lesser petrosal nerve and then it again emerges out through the foramen ovale and goes and synapses at this station this is called the aortic ganglion okay so this much i have written in black because it is a single neuron till the lesser petrosal nerve now the lesser petrosal nerve goes and synapses at the aortic ganglion so i'm using a new color that is the purple color to show the next neurons the sixth one that you have to know is aortic ganglion and remember this is the parasympathetic ganglion related to the parotid gland. This is the relay station where the preganglionic uh, neuron synapses with the postganglionic neuron. All right. Now from the aortic ganglion you have the auriculotemporal nerve. Now please remember that the auriculotemporal nerve is a branch of cranial nerve V3 that is mandibular nerve. So here there is something very interesting. Uh, glossopharyngeal nerve is actually uh, the main nerve that is carrying the secretomotor pathway, it is giving off a branch forming a plexus, forming lesser petrosal nerve. So till now, what you are seeing is the glossopharyngeal branches, okay, a glossopharyngeal pathway. Now glossopharyngeal goes and synapses in the aortic ganglion and the aortic ganglion is a parasympathetic ganglion. This is basically salivation is a parasympathetic function. 
So from the aortic ganglion, you have the auricular temporal nerve. Auricular temporal nerve is related to cranial nerve V3 or the mandibular nerve. All cranial parasympathetic ganglia are located topographically close to uh, trigeminal nerve branches. So this is also following that same rule. Aortic ganglion is related to the mandibular nerve, which is a trigeminal nerve branch. So from there, it is giving off auricular temporal and that is going and innervating the parotid gland. Now, as you know, there are seven nerves that you have to remember and always anatomy is all about remembering. So what I did when I was a student was I just made a mnemonic out of this. Making a mnemonic out of these much nerves, is, these much structures is a little bit difficult. So I made a simple mnemonic, an auditory mnemonic. So let me share that mnemonic. You can make your own if you want. Okay, the mnemonic is I-G-T-T-L-O-A. Okay, uh, so this is what, this is how I learn. I-G-T-T-L-O-A, this is a mnemonic that I use. Uh, it's kind of an auditory mnemonic, I-G-T-T-L-O-A. And I remember that o, otic ganglion is the relay station neuron or the parasympathetic ganglion, which is the ganglion related to the parotid gland. So this is about the secretomotor pathway, which is very commonly asked. So I hope you understood it and you can remember it in your exam. Thank you.